This video is for Google SketchUp for Dummies. It's called Injecting Accuracy into Your Model. It's really about using the VCB, which is the value control box. It's this little white area in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. It's where you enter dimensions and lengths and distances and radii or radiuses or whatever they're called uh, so that you can work with actual dimensions in SketchUp. Unfortunately, that doesn't involve Bryce yet again, so let's just delete him. Let's grab the line tool and start drawing a line. Now, <clears throat> as I draw a line, you'll notice that the length is actually showing up in the VCB down here in the right hand corner. Uh, so right now it says that the line is 50 feet, 5 inches, and a 5 and a quarter inches I should say long. Over here if I were to draw the line to there it would be 22 feet, 11 and 3 quarter inches long. Um, I guess if I wanted to draw a line that was 40 feet long I could just sort of eyeball it, right? Oh, there's 40 feet. But really that's not the easiest way to do it. So what I'm going to do is actually just before I click to end the line, I'm just going to type in the length that I want. So I'm going to type in 40, and I want feet, so I'm going to modify that with an apostrophe for feet, just like that. And then I'm going to hit the Enter or Return key on my keyboard, and that line is now going to be 40 feet long. Now let's say I actually wanted that to be 35 feet instead. I'm going to type in 35 and an apostrophe and hit Enter, and now that's a 35-foot line. Or I could change my line and say, you know what, I wanted a 20-foot line or I wanted a 50 foot line. All I'm doing is I'm typing. As long as I don't do anything else with my pencil, uh, as long as I didn't move my cursor, that is to say, then then it's kind of going to keep modifying that line uh, that I drew with that new length. So let's kind of go up in, I don't know, 20 feet in this direction. Hit enter. Let's go, I don't know, in this direction we'll go 50 feet. Just like that. And then we'll kind of connect these two ends. So that was a 50 foot edge and this is a 20 foot edge. And what I was doing was just typing in the VCB to, uh, to get that. Now, one thing that you'll probably notice didn't happen while I was doing this. While I was drawing this line, I didn't have to go and click in the VCB down here to do anything. Now, the little cursor will let you type something in. But the important thing to note about SketchUp is that you absolutely do not have to be in the VCB with your cursor to make it... Um, to make it listen to what you're doing. It's basically always listening. So let's draw a 10 foot line. Actually, let's do a 15 foot line in this direction. Now, it was a little confused there. So what we'll do is we'll type in 15 feet and hit that to make a 15 foot line. And then I'm going to hit escape just to finish drawing my line. And you'll see that that line I just drew was 15 feet. Just like that. Pretty simple. Okay. <clears throat> the thing about the VCB is that the thing that it, it sort of demonstrates or the thing that it indicates is dependent entirely on the tool that you're using. So let's get the push-pull tool and I'm going to pull this face up into a box and look what it's showing now. It's showing the distance that the push-pull tool was doing. Let's get the circle tool and draw a circle on top of this box. Now all of a sudden the VCB is showing me the radius, the radius of the circle that I was drawing. So what you can see is the VCB is automatically showing you context-sensitive information. That's information that's relevant to the tool that you happen to be using here in SketchUp. Uh, a really good use of the VCB is, of course, to, to measure things. So if I come up and get the tape measure tool, just like this, and then start measuring an edge, we'll click from here to here, you can see that that's a 17-foot, 3 and a quarter inch line, um, which happens to show up on the tooltip, but it's also down here in the VCB. So it's in the little yellow tooltip that appeared next to the cursor and also down there in the VCB. I'm going to hit escape to cancel whatever I was just doing. Okay. Let's um let's talk about things that the VCB can do. So let's let's think about um, drawing circles. Let's kind of go ahead and just draw a circle that's over here somewhere on the ground. So I'm going to draw a circle right here. Now in SketchUp circles actually have a couple different qualities. They have a radius um, in this case, the radius is 18 foot and a half inch, uh, something like that. So not 18 and a half feet, but 18 feet and a half an inch. Uh, now it's 19 feet, nine and a quarter inches. What circles also have in SketchUp, though, is a number of sides. And we'll talk about that a little later uh, in the book. But basically, circles aren't perfect circles. They have a number of sides. And the default number of sides in a circle in SketchUp is 24. What would happen if I wanted to make a 10-sided circle instead? That would just be a, a 10 gon or a decagon, I guess. But if I want to make a 10-sided circle, I'm going to type in 10. And then I'm going to modify with an S. So look down here in the bottom right-hand corner of the VCB. I typed in S to tell SketchUp that I don't want to give a radius in this case. I want to give the number of sides. Now I'm going to hit Enter. 
and nothing happened. And that's because, and this is important, nothing happened because I moved my cursor around and was doing something else before uh, or between when I drew the circle and actually was trying to tell it the radius. So let's kind of go ahead and do this again. I'm going to grab the select tool, double click to select this and delete it. Let's draw a circle right here. And I'm quite happy with a radius of, let's say, 15 feet. I'm going to type in 15 feet to have a, a circle of 15 foot radius. But I want a 10 sided circle. So I'm going to, now I'm going to type in 10s and hit enter. And did you see how the circle changed the number of sides that it had? Let's watch, watch the circle as I, as I do this again. 18s and enter. And now I've got an 18 sided circle. Or I can go crazy and make a 100 sided circle. Or a 3 sided circle, which is, of course, a triangle. But let's say that I wanted a 12-sided circle, and I wanted that to be, instead of 15-foot radius, I want a 20-foot radius. So I'm going to type in 20 feet, just like that. And I'm not going to type an S, which is now telling SketchUp that instead of, instead of telling it how many sides I want, I'm telling it to, to do a radius again. So I'm going to hit Enter, and that made a circle of, with a radius of 20 feet. Well, it made a 12-sided polygon with a radius of, of 12 feet, but I think you know what I mean. So the message here is, the VCB can control different things. You just have to use modifier letters, in, in the case of a circle, S, uh, to tell it how many sides, to tell what particular thing you want to control. And that's going to depend on the tool you're using, and there's a lot of tools, so um, I'm not going to explain them all right now. Okay. Uh, the VCB lets you change your mind. That was actually just demonstrated. So uh, remember how this was a 20-foot thing? I'd like that to be a 10-foot radius instead. As long as I don't go and draw something else, um, it's going to let me keep changing my mind until I go ahead and, and do something else with the cursor. Now, let's talk about using the VCB before, uh, during, and after. Actually, just during and after an operation. Let's go ahead and just take the Select tool and select everything and delete it, because I just want to kind of start out fresh here. Let's take the Pencil tool and draw an edge. Now, I have two ways that I can do this. I'm going to, before I click, so I, I clicked once to start the edge, and I haven't clicked again, I'm going to get it going in the direction I want it to be going, and then I'm going to type in a length. So 20 feet, enter. Uh, and now what that's done is it's actually drawn a, uh, an edge that's 20 feet long. So what I did is I just hit E to switch to the eraser tool without actually having to come up to the eraser tool. I'm going to erase that edge. Another way that I can draw edges is instead of just um, not clicking again, I can click so that it's basically any length I want. And then before I move my cursor at all, I can type in a length to modify that length. So this is kind of a, it's actually kind of a subtle difference. But basically, I can use the VCB during an operation, or I can use the VCB after an operation. So I'm going to click to end that line, and then I'm going to type in the length that I'd like it to be. And that's probably best illustrated, actually, with a circle. So let's come up and get the circle. I'll go in and I'll draw this circle there and I'll sort of move around and say, you know, I'd, uh, I'd actually like that to be a 25 foot radius circle. So I'll do that instead or, or even a 10 foot radius circle. What I could have done is before I even clicked said I'd like that to be a 50 foot radius circle and then I'd have that. So hopefully you get the idea. You can use the VCB while you're actually, before you click again to end an operation or after you click as long as you go, go and do something else in the middle of that. Okay, so last thing I'm going to talk about with respect to the VCB, the value control box, is units. Uh, not everybody in the world, actually very few people in the world, end up using inches and feet. We happen to be um, an American company, so that's the default in the US and Canadian templates, but obviously you can change your units. The way to do that is to go up to the window menu, choose model info, and then here in the model info dialog box we've got the last little panel on the side is units, and here I can change to anything I want. So let's say I wanted to use meters instead of feet. I'm going to change from architectural over to decimal, and I'm going to change this from inches to meters. And, and sort of decide my accuracy. Now this is obviously millimeters, this is tenths of a millimeter. I'm probably okay with just millimeters since this is a building and not a stopwatch. Um, so that's, that's kind of how that, that works. Now display units format is handy because it'll actually tell you uh, what your units are as you're working with uh, when you're measuring things with the tape measure tool. 
And here, um, in terms of angles, there's no such thing as metric or non-metric uh, degrees. So this is just about degrees. Anyway, again, the way that we got to this is to go to Window, Model Info, and then the Units panel at the bottom of the, the list of panels in the Model Info dialog box. And that's how I can change between metric and non-metric measurement systems. Okay. That concludes the injecting accuracy into your model video for Google SketchUp for Dummies.